Wow, that hooked a lot. Does that count? Zilch. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we are reviewing the new Rubicon UC3 from Rotogrip. So you may be wondering, why do we not have the original Rubicon and the Rubicon UC2 here? Well, it's because this ball is a urethane bowling ball. Cool, right? So today we're going to compare it to the Storm Fast Pitch, one of Storm's best urethanes and Jung's favorite urethane. So this Rubicon UC3 features the same Rondeur core found in the original and the UC2, and the cover is the Tourethane Pearl cover stock. So that means it's a urethane, but also a pearl cover stock paired with the Rondeur core, which is asymmetrical. To say the least, this is not a very usual combo. An asym core with a pearl urethane cover stock. It'll be really interesting to see out there. My expectation, because it's a pearl cover stock, I believe it will hook later down the lane and hook a little bit more due to its asymmetrical core. I think it might hook a little bit more than the fast pitch and I'm really curious to see what its motion is like down lane. It might even be able to compare with the purple hammer. Ooh, be interesting. Today we're bowling on two different patterns. First off, it is 42 foot carbon, a 10 to one house shot, super easy, dry on the outside, a lot of oil in the middle, but not specifically meant for urethane bowling balls. And to show off these balls true power, we are throwing on 36 foot Pegasus. Pegasus has a four to one ratio, a challenge pattern. It's pretty hard, I would say, but Jung can definitely do it, because pro bowler. Before we head out on the lanes, make sure to check out shop.jarproshop.com. Buy our new merch, it's really nice. Now, let's see what Jung has to do on the lanes. Hello everyone, welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, Jungle here. Got the new Rubicon UC3, asymmetrical urethane ball. Something you don't really see too often, so this is gonna be really interesting. If you watch some of the uh, Rubicon vids before, they're reactive, they hook a lot. They're in the HP3 line, so really aggressive bowling balls. So we got that core wrapped around with a urethane cover, so. Let's see how it goes. House shot here, we're gonna play a little bit further to the right. Uh, let's try and hit 12 here at the arrows. Wow, that hooked a lot. Wow. I did miss a little bit right there, got into the dry a little bit early. So let's try and hit my mark this time, 12. Keep it in the oil a little bit longer. But I can already tell this ball hooks a ton for being a urethane. Okay, we're gonna line up in the same spot here and try and hit 12 instead of 10. Wow, that has some pretty sick continuation for a urethane ball. Holy, that is something you don't really see at all. Usually urethane is really early, really smooth, and has nothing much down lane, but this thing hooks down lane. Okay, let's move a couple boards to the left and still try and get it to that spot there down lane. See if it can recover. This is a house shot though, so really dry on the outside. Okay, not a bad shot, but as you can see, just a little bit more oil, and it doesn't quite pick up enough. So you definitely do need really dry board to the right. Let's try that again. Let's try that same shot, but I'll slow the ball speed down. Just a little bit left there at the break point, but that ball really picked up and continued through the pins really nice. I am so surprised by this. This is crazy. It's like that perfect ball that We've all been missing. Between urethane and reactive, right? It's such a big gap there. So we're trying to trick balls with layouts and stuff, but this ball is really nice. Try that shot again. Get a little bit further right. Yeah, a little steep through the front there, which means you've got the ball to the right a little too early. Hit it back, hit the head pin. Just uh, not enough, not enough boards covered. So with that, let's uh, throw the fast pitch here. This has been the urethane ball that I've been using all the time. This hooks a little bit more than the pitch black, so it gives me a little bit more play. Let's go same line as the first shot. Oh, 
Yeah. See that? Just early and then nothing down lane. That's what urethane's supposed to do. That's what urethane does. So that definitely hooks maybe four or five boards less than the UC3 already that I can see. So let's move a couple boards to the right and let's get to the dry a little bit quicker. Yeah, I see that. It just has nothing. Where there's lots of oil in the middle, when you get it to the right, the uh, fast pitch doesn't really have much. The UC3 will hook though. Same spot as I just threw the fast pitch. Like, that ball has way more hook potential. It's crazy. It flares a lot. Got that UC2 and 1 core, the Rubicon core. Yeah. Auto hooks a fast pitch by a ton. All right, let's see if we can get into the oil a little bit and slow hook it. Let's see if it hooks. See if it comes back around the corner. 22 with the feet. Let's see if we can get out to 5. Here. Wow, that came back all the way from there. That's crazy, man. The fast pitch won't even try, so I'm not even gonna bother. Let's go again from there. That was awesome. All right, felt that was really good off the hand. Just missed a little bit left into the oil. You can see it just did not make the corner. Even though it's uh, asymmetric core, really strong. Still need those dry boards. Still needs to pick up in the dry. Still allergic to oil a little bit. We'll throw the fast pitch on that line and uh, just show you how much less it hooks. Really tough to swing your thing. Okay, same line with the fast pitch. Probably get three off the right here. Let's go really slow. Zilch, nothing. All right, let's head over to the short pattern where these balls are built for. All right, just past the halfway point in the vid with Jungle and the UC3. A really strong asymmetrical urethane ball here. I think it'll really fill that gap between my fast pitch and a reactive ball right in there because sometimes the urethane isn't enough, reactive is a little bit too much. Uh, so let me know down in the comments what you do to fill that gap. Personally, I try and trick layouts on balls like an IQ Tour, short pin, uh, throw a little bit more ball speed and kind of figure things out that way. But let me know down in the comments what you do and maybe we can all learn. All right, we're over here on the short pattern Pegasus, 36 feet. This pattern is where these urethane balls are really gonna shine. So we got the fast pitch, UC3. From the house shot, we know the UC3 hooks about five to six boards more. So let's take that into account. And we'll start with the UC3 here. Uh, we want our break point to be around five, 10, 11 at the arrows and get it out to five here. That ball is nuts. I've never had a urethane ball do that. But then again, I haven't thrown a purple, so who knows? That ball really continuous down lane where the other urethanes just aren't. Okay, going right into the fast pitch here. I'm gonna move five boards right, right away, standing on seven. So this is gonna be around seven at the arrows, up to five. This should be good for the fast pitch. Not a bad shot, just do it a hair quick. You can see the difference in reaction right away. Fast pitch, definitely earlier, smoother, way less hook. Just throw that again, turn it the pocket. And we'll throw the UC3 right on top of it. Yeah, even if I slowed it down a touch there, still has trouble getting back to the head pin. So let's bump two boards more to the right with the fast pitch. Should be really good. Exactly what I've been seeing out of the fast pitch, basically the only urethane I use. You have to go straight down the boards with it. Let's go, try and go straight down six here. All right, move two boards. There to the right, really good reaction, triple four. You can tell like five, six, seven boards maybe, weaker than the UC3, craziness. And let's go Brooklyn, just for comparison purposes. Right, I may have missed a hair to the right there. I just checked up Brooklyn through the nose. A lot of hook down lane. Okay, let's get back into the happy zone here with the UC3. Wow, such a good sign rolling the two. Just got around it just a hair, just to not quite hook enough to go flush, but still got there, got a strike. Let's just slow it down a touch. I think this is the right spot. Ooh, does that count? I don't know, does that count? Huh? But uh, as you can see, ball reaction wise, 
really sharp continuous for a urethane piece. Let's move a couple left and slow hook it out to the ditch. Really gotta slow it down here. Just a little too deep for it. Don't really want to be going left to right as a righty with urethane, in my opinion anyways. Greater is greater with these balls. Okay, that read perfectly. A little earlier than the last shot, but still really continuous. Straighter is greater, I think. That was nice, let's do that again. Really good, hard and straight. Really confident. Let's try and get this one out to one board. Standing on 15, let's try and hit one. ball is dirty. All right, let's go have a chat in the shop. All right, we're back from the lane showing urethane. We bowled on a house shot and a short pattern. We did the house shot first. But what I saw of this ball was very surprising. I was able to swing the ball from left to right and it was able to turn the corner down in the back end and make that move into the pocket that I didn't think urethane had. That asymmetric Rubicon core, uh, this ball is really, really strong down lane, like four or five boards stronger than I thought it would be. I threw a few shots further right on the house pattern up the dry boards and this ball just hit the lane and took off left. So, so strong. So I had to keep moving left into the oil and I was really surprised how far left I could get and the ball made it all the way back to the pocket. Five, six, seven boards stronger than the fast pitch here. I really, really like the fast pitch. It comes with me everywhere, every tournament, no matter what the lanes are, what the pattern is, just, just in case. And it's really predictable, really smooth, really early, and I know exactly what it's gonna do. And this ball outhooked it by five to six boards. Easy, I was really, really surprised. Over on the short pattern, fast pitch looked much, much better on the short because you really have to play straight and you really need lots of dry boards down lane rather than to the right. Fast pitch looked great uh, going up 5-6 and it just made that early, continuous, smooth move into the pocket. And the Rubicon UC3 was much more angular down lane and definitely covered more boards. So I had to up my ball speed if I wanted to play the same kind of line or if I wanted to throw it the same, I definitely needed to move five or six boards to the left and pitch it to the right. With that being said, I think this ball really does fill a gap in my arsenal uh, between the fast pitch and say my IQ Tour, uh, which I drilled with a short pin to try and emulate something like this for when my urethane ball isn't enough and something like the idol or the IQ Tour pin up is too much. So I tried to drill a short pin IQ Tour just to have another look on the short and Something just isn't quite right. So this ball fills that gap for me and I'm super, super happy. I've been trying for years to fill that gap. Just experimenting different layouts, different balls, everything. Nothing seemed to quite fit it as good as this one. So with all that being said, I would definitely recommend this ball to people who bowl lots of tournaments and come across a variety of lane conditions and also someone with a high rev rate. Because on the house pattern, some of the high rev rate can definitely get some use out of this where a reactive ball might be too violent off the dry board to the right. This ball is really going to smooth that out and still have enough down lane so that you can strike carry a lot. Yeah, so this ball will make my tournament bag if I'm bowling on shorter conditions or maybe short medium like 38, 37 all the way down to like 34, 35 feet. We'll bring the fast pitch and the Rubicon UC3, two completely different looks with urethane. I think that's something that I've really been missing in my bag, especially later in the tournament when a short pattern, when the fast pitch gets a little bit lazy down lane the fronts are kind of losing their oil and it's getting carried down to the back end and the fast pitch just looking a little lazy a little dead i think that the uc3 will be absolutely perfect I recommend this ball for high rev rates like i said two handers for sure and uh, i'm pretty curious to see what this does against a purple hammer jimu so Simu and Jimu just asked me what I think it would do against the Purple Hammer. I think it would hook a little bit later and be a little bit more continuous, kind of like the old Purple Hammers, where the new ones are much earlier and much flatter off the spot. So I think this kind of looks like an older Purple Hammer. Just my opinion. But uh, maybe we'll experiment with that. Just to wrap it up here, guys, don't forget our question down in the comments. What have you been doing to fill the gap between your urethane ball, like pitch black, fast pitch, and your reactive ball? I know there's... Definitely lots of different options what you can do. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Really interested to see what you guys came up with. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next vid.